So when you got Lucha Underground, did you have to move to LA? No, I was still living in Mexico City. And they were just commuting you yeah, in? Yeah, we were like going back and forth. So what made you move to, was it meeting John? Yes. Oh, and you met John because of Lucha? Or had well, you met we had before? like met before because he was coming to AAA. Because like obviously once, I think once he, once he started working on season one, because he was on season one, um, he was coming to to AAA and doing like TV and stuff like that. But it was never like, we weren't friends. Like I was just excited that someone spoke English. <laughs> <laughs> but you were like, oh, what a handsome ripped man. Yeah. And obviously I knew who he was and I was like, oh my God, it's John Morrison. Oh my God, it's John Morrison. Um, and he was so sweet. As you know, John is like the sweetest human in all the world and all the land and all of slam down. Um, so, I mean, he was just always really nice to me. Like it was never, um, more than that, that's it. And well, then when, it, when did it become more than when that? When did it become more than that? Mm. Uh, well, I went to Lucha Underground. Originally, I was actually told that I was going to be Cobra Moon. Oh, that's interesting. So I had taken all the measurements for my costumes and everything. So when I went to the temple, <laughs> I was greeted by Chavo Guerrero. You know, I, <laughs> he showed me around. And then I was told that I was not going to be Cobra Moon. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm glad I brought my gear. Uh, and they said, uh, you are going to be with Johnny Mundo. And PJ Black, and I don't even know if they had at that time decided if it was PJ and Jack, but that we were going to be this, you know, this faction. But I was told right away that I was going to be with Johnny Mundo. And I was like, okay. Like, I was just like in shock because I was, everything kept changing. Like, I mean, that's just wrestling and TV as in general is yeah. a lot of things changed at the last minute. So uh, that day I, I did my run-in, my first run-in with, with John. And we were just like, I was just nervous because I was like, I don't know what to expect. This guy's like a megastar. Brian Cage is in there. There's a lot going on. I was just like nervous. It was my first dime in the temple. And like, I was finally, you know, putting my little mark, my little foot in the, in the U S doing something, you know? Yeah. So it meant like so much to me. And, and then it was the next day that I had that, it, like that match versus Brian Cage that everyone still talks about. So that was yep. day two when John told me in the office that he had broken his foot. So they sent him to the hospital because he was supposed to have that match. Wow. And he said to me, will you do this no DQ with Brian? And I went like this, just like, I guess I say this a lot. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so he went to the hospital. We called the match. We, everything was figured out. They were like, Brian has this crazy spot idea for you through these two tables. Are you okay with this? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he came back right as like I think the show was starting because he had to do something and he came did a run in, in the match itself and he's like oh yeah I just sprained my foot I didn't break it and I was like great great I'm glad we're establishing this trustworthy <laughs> friendship from the beginning but now uh -huh. I mean I'm honestly thank god he had thought that he'd broken his foot because then I wouldn't have gotten the chance to wrestle Brian and I wouldn't have gotten the attention that I'd gotten from from that match, that match really put me on the map as far yeah. as like Lucha Underground was concerned. And people were like, oh, who is this person? You know what I mean? So, and Brian is such an amazing performer and was so easy to work with. And, you know, I'm just very grateful that all this stuff kind of just happened that way. And then as it progressed, like I remember we filmed our first backstage segment with me and John and I said like, so what are characters like? Like, are we like friends are we like bros like what's the, like the dynamic and like we still always talk about this because of how <laughs> awkward we both were with each other and if you go back and watch the scene itself like I have like a red baseball cap on backwards and he's like you know supposed to be in his dojo doing like what that ninja thing is oh yeah, yeah and we it's just to me it's very obvious that I'm like mm hmm mm hmm like nervous and he's nervous and we're, I'm kind of like, uh, the, 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 the. like, it's just very bad. So this was the beginning. That was the beginning. But it wasn't until he started following me around the temple that uh, <laughs> <laughs> we actually, he asked me out on a first date, but he would uh, follow me around and like come into, so there was like different locker rooms in the temple. And one of them was where like a lot of the Lucha AAA guys would be. So I remember I was sitting on the couch when I had Phoenix on one side of me and Pentagon on the other side of me, and we were all just talking, blah, 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 blah. And in walks John into the locker room, and he's like, hola, compañeros, <laughs> or whatever he said. And the guys just all stopped talking and then looked at me. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he, like, said something really, you know, in some really bad broken Spanish and left. And then Pentagon and Phoenix both hit me, 
I'm like, oh my God, he likes you. He's come, like, he never comes in here. The only reason he's in here is because he likes you. Oh my God, Taya, he likes you. And like, then it was, then it was on because they just kept bugging me about it. And then he like came and went out to dinner with a bunch of us, like a bunch of the AAA people. And they were like, what is he doing here? <laughs> oh. And I was like, uh. and he's buying everyone drinks and sucking up to my friends. And I'm like, <laughs> Something's going on here. Did you ever think you'd marry a wrestler? No, I don't. I mean, I don't know. I don't even think I knew that I would ever get married. Like, I don't. Oh. I don't think. I mean, I always wanted that, but like, you never know, right? Life is weird. I've lived a very like gypsy lifestyle of like you know traveling around and really being independent, and like that's the way my mom always taught me to be independent and be able to take care of myself and and to fight for what I want. And so I just didn't. I didn't know what the the universe had in mind for me, and it. His name is John Hennigan and he has 25 abs. <laughs> but no, like from there we like, he asked me out and we went to sushi and I was excited because he spoke. I said, I was like, Oh my God, it's so great. You speak English. And he, he always brings that up. He's like, you're so easy to, to make, to make happy on that date. You wanted sushi. You wanted to go to Hollywood Boulevard and see the stars on the walk of fame. You were happy. I spoke English and you got excited when we drove past the Trader Joe's. And I went, yep. Wow. Small things, people. The small yeah. things. What a great first date. Yeah. And then uh, and then that was that. <laughs> and look at you guys now. Yeah. And then we went and did press in New York. And he took me to Hamilton. Oh, well, that's serious business. Yeah. You can't even get tickets to Hamilton. And it was this. I mean, this was years ago. So think about that. Wow. Uh, oh, when will you have John Morrison money, though? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Mundo. He was Johnny Mundo at the time. It's, this is true. This is true. Johnny but, many names. Johnny many names. Um, but yeah, he took me to Hamilton. And then, like, I don't know. And then we just kind of started dating yeah. and he came to visit me in Mexico and then I came to LA to visit him and then we were filming and doing stuff and then it just kind of and this was the rest is history four years ago uh almost five years ago was it 2015 or 16 god you're making me do math in my head <laughs> I know, know this because no met. but I know this because Presley's turning four <laughs> yeah should at least should at least know which no year it's, you met. it was five years ago five years ago in January oh okay yeah yeah I remember meeting you for the first time when I did that last interview with, or my first interview with John Morrison. You guys were living in like a wrestler house. Yes. Not, not oh far my God. from here. You were living in a wrestler house with a ring I in the I really backyard. stuck around, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was not even the first wrestler house. We lived in another house before that too. So yeah, like after like seven months of dating, six months of dating, I, was, I made the decision to move to the, uh, Los Angeles, obviously. And... Um, I moved in with John and we lived with some stunt guys in a house with a ring. <laughs> and then eventually after that, we lived in another house with stunt guys and a ring. And then I said, we're getting married. We're not having roommates anymore. And now you have a beautiful house. And now we have a beautiful house. Yeah. We want to have our beautiful, our first house together. Um, and our two little puppies. So yeah. I think it's worked out. 